Hi guys, welcome! In the upcoming April patch update, another round of skill adjustments and balance tweaks will be introduced that will shake the meta. And in this video, we'll focus on the changes impacting the less popular hero classes, such as Nidhogg, Hela, Holgrahan, and Heinrich. Hopefully, these changes can improve the usage rate of these heroes in both PvE and PvP. Alright, without further ado, do, let's begin. First up, let's take a look at the buffs for the Nidhogg hero class. First, the effect of Nidhogg's Force of Life healing skill is modified, wherein the amount of HP restored will be distributed within 3 seconds instead of 5 seconds, resulting to a higher rate of healing per second. In addition, Force of Life's cooldown has been reduced from 5 seconds to 3 seconds, allowing it to be spammed more often for continuous healing. These two changes to Nidhogg's healing rate will significantly improve her capability to sustain her team and herself in battle. Second, the effective range of Nidhogg's Twilight of the Gods team buff skill is now map-wide. Thus, Nidhogg can now view all her party members as Draconic Tribesmen regardless of their location on the map. This ensures that her teammates in distant areas of the map can still benefit from Force of Life's healing or Savior's Flower's protection from dying even if they are separated from Nidhogg. Additionally, Twilight of the Gods' buff duration has been extended from 6 seconds to 8 seconds. During a team clash, this extra 2 second duration can be crucial in protecting her other teammates which are not connected with Queen of Dragon. And third, Nidhogg's attack skill, Streamer of Fallen Knight, now has a 1 second cooldown and skill delay, allowing it to be spammed more often. Streamer of Fallen Knight already has a huge magic attack multiplier, so this adjustment will further enhance the damage potential of DPS build Nidhogg's. This is the first set of buffs for the Nidhogg Cure class ever since her release over a year ago. And I think with these changes, particularly her new ability to provide global support, Nidhogg will shine more in coordinated team play. Up next, we have an adjustment affecting Hela's Black Party buff skill, wherein the converted attributes required to unlock and use this skill has been reduced from 80 points to 40 points. This is a welcome quality of life optimization for Hela, as it will now be more convenient to activate Black Party, which enhances her other skills' effects for 40 seconds. Up next for Halgrahan, there is an additional effect to his lucky card passive skill which grants 20% movement speed. However, I still don't think it will be enough to solve Halgrahan's issues in PvP since focused mode still caps his movement speed to 150% only and has a very small area of effect. Lastly, we have two adjustments impacting the Heinrich hero class. First iteration of Heinrich unyielding buff skill has been doubled from 30 seconds to 60 seconds. This longer buff duration will allow Heinrich to focus more on positioning and executing his attack rotation without being burdened of having to constantly reapply Unyielding's buff effects. Another change to Heinrich is that the third phase of Heinrich's attack loop, White Star Snow, will now grant 3 stacks of charge instead of just 1. This enhanced charge stacking mechanic would allow Heinrich to reach his maximum damage potential more quickly and could improve the overall synergy of his skill set. Heinrich already received multiple buffs on his offensive capability last January. Thus, these two adjustments are more aimed to enhance the skill rotation and gameplay experience for Heinrich. Will these changes be enough to make Heinrich meta? So that's it for the class pass adjustments impacting the less popular hero classes such as Nidhogg, Hela, Holgren, and Heinrich coming in the next month's patch update. What do you guys think about these changes? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Alright, that's it for this video guys. Don't forget to like if you enjoyed watching this guide. If you're new here, I'd love for you to consider subscribing by hitting the subscribe button down below. I'd love to have you back. Thank you for watching and see you in our next episode.